Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in! Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? Hmm... <gasps> Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch! Wow! Then it really must be tough to become the strongest of all. But anyway, is there like a general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the City of Freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight Hero. Ooh, ooh, Paimon votes for you! But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Hmm. What'll it be today? The strongest fighter? I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence-gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Mondstadt's famous wine, too? Uh, the strongest fighter of them all? That would be Gene, obviously! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Gene is so strong! She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> and she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by her <clears throat> self. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join me? You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all, Stanley. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Yeah! Bam, wham, pow!
even if you are a close friend. Come, my friend. Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girlie who wears red. That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Storm Bear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girlie in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean... No. It's a bard's razor-sharp intuition. How can you say such a thing? So, this girl. What's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm. Doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Patton was right about one thing. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says! Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing! Come on! Let's just go and ask already! We'll never find out if we don't! Fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. Paimon was hoping he would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me... Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After he beats the Abyss Order, he'll climb up that ranking table faster than he climbs up all those cliffs! Well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. Oh. <sighs> 
Are you all right? Huh? <coughs> oh. For bumping into you. Hey, look! There's... Some writing on here! Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy wall. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Mondstadt be bombed. Klee be doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Yep. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. And Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! More recognition, yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no... There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The... the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's... gone. Did you say buried treasure? Exactly what time I was thinking. Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it, to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go. Fado seem really busy recently. So Klee must not disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. I never thought I'd have a new big brother to help me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Seen one before. Phew, 
look so cute, soft, and fluffy. I want to pet it. Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? <laughs> Let's dance. So, let the show begin. Careful, Klee. Don't be drawn in by it. Abyss mages are the bad guys. Oh, that's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. Freeze! <laughs> that girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I... <laughs> Stole and it's up to me to get it back. <laughs> Don't worry, Klee is a big girl. Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight, let's go. a naughty boy.
strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Paimon, for one, is never picking a fight with her, ever. Hold on. Why has she gone and run off? Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's headquarters and report to Jean. 
Klee? You're here too? I... I turned myself in. Huh? I... my... my bomb. I... I hurt someone. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Klee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Why is that? But... But Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity? What? What? I don't get it. This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Aha! That's it! Paimon understands now! They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no! To try and get the facts on the treasure. Mm-hmm. So, does that mean...? In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! Mr. Honorary Knight, you've got to come too! whoop de doo It's a happy ending! Except... Except what? Klee? Where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I, um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Klee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm... Paimon bets Klee must get bored in there all by herself. Hello. May the Animo Archon protect you. Guess who? That's Paimon's voice I hear. Yes, please! Wait, no, I... I can't. Klee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me! Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Um, when you say treasure... <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this, Klee might find her.
herself grounded for an awful lot longer. <laughs> 